Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip. I wanted to show you something interesting. If you saw my previous video on a simple JavaScript uh, button, you'll notice that um, when you click here, when you get to a certain area here in this site, you'll notice that this changes into a button and uh, the original the original nav bar disappears and then this button comes in and then when you click the button it toggles a menu that comes up okay if you wanted to see it as um, of what it looks like on the phone you just I'm using Chrome so I can use this analyzer here so I'm gonna reload I'm using the Google Nexus and on the Google Nexus aspect ratio you can see that that's how it works okay I'm not going to go into how I created that. Uh, you could look at my previous video for that. But we're going to talk about how to do the same thing uh, on a blog. Now, I use Blogger. Say what you will about Blogger. But I really like it because um, it's pretty simple. But that means you can do extraordinary things with it because it's so simple. So, for example, uh, if I want to click on my blog here, instead of... Uh, putting an iframe and embedding the blog, I'm actually pointed to uh, the blogger blog. And this blogger blog looks exactly like, well, uh, maybe I want to say maybe 85, 90% like my own site. So the person doesn't get confused. And not only that, but these menu items look exactly like my original menu items. And when they click on a different menu item, it goes back to the regular site and they can continue browsing like normal. Okay, so they can go home, they can go to all these things, they can go back to blog from here, and everything works great. What's awesome about this is that I was able to also on my phone version, let's not use Google Nexus, let's go to um, an Apple iPhone 5. Okay, and here is here's what it looks like on the Apple iPhone 5. Um, here's the menu. Now if I click on blog there, this is the um, blogger blog looks exactly like my my regular site has the um, header banner and everything and voila does the same thing I can actually use this um, this JavaScript menu doing the same thing and I can go back home to my regular menu or I can go to my tips and tricks or I can go to my blog again so let me show you how to do that really nicely. So if we go back to, if we go back home here, um, you'll notice a few things like this green background and all kinds of things like that. Well, if, I, if you're on a Mac, for example, you can use a thing called this color picker here. And basically you create a little palette with all of the colors from your original site and that'll come in handy because when you click on any one of these colors the corresponding hex code will come up and you're going to use these codes okay that's the first thing second thing of course is you need to have access to your photos and all that okay so now we're going to go to blogger and we're going to go to our um our blog here and this is the actual blog that i'm going to be using and working on now the first part is uh, choosing your layout. Now the layout that I choose, the template that I choose is um, just this simple one here. Okay. I just use a simple one. That way I can um, manipulate it as much as I want, but that's really up to you how you want to do it. Now the first part is really kind of straightforward. You're going to go through each one of these tabs and you're going to change certain aspects. For example, you're going to change your width, you're going to change your layout, but this is where you're going to spend most of your time because for example, you're going to change the page text so they can match the text of your, um, of your page. So you can, you know, go back and forth and take a look at how your page uses all of its text. And you're going to match that and then you're going to go through and match the colors and the backgrounds, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. That there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that, but that's basically what I did. I just went through here and I used the same background color that I have on, um, 
see here's here's my background color here which is the same background color as this right here okay so um, that's that's one way to do it and of course I you know did my best to match all the colors right in here next thing is how do you get this menu in the first place well to get the menu you're going to go to your layout here and you're going to add on one of the cross columns here an html javascript okay and if you don't know how to add one um you're going to add this gadget here and it's just this one right here html javascript okay you're going to add that gadget so once we add the gadget as you can see all it's really straightforward this is the same way that i did on my previous um tutorial i just added a main uh this is my main uh menu here and then this is the button that you saw and then this is the mobile menu and then below that is the javascript that causes this main menu to toggle okay so you can again look at the previous uh way to do that so basically once you have the menu in there it's going to look kind of funky it's not going to look like you want it to look so that then you have to go back to the template and then you have to go to the customize and then you have to go to advanced click on add css and voila this is all the css to be able to um, change everything on your so let's kind of take a look at what's going on here so this content inner is actually this content i wanted to make a border radius so that it didn't look so square okay and then uh, oh and by the way if you wanted to look for something in particular um, the best way that i found to look for something is to grab your your actual uh, blogger file here and right click and go to view page source and then when you view page source okay as you're viewing the page source change these colors oops change all these colors here change the colors to something interesting like one two three four five six or six five four three two one then you'll know like for example if i'm doing the main background and i'm call it one two three four five six once i refresh this and i look for one two three four five six it'll show me exactly what i'm changing and in this case, it was this right here, which was I, I was changing. I noticed this number keep changing every time I changed something. So that's how I was able to find um, this uh, class. So back to um, our original here. Once you find a class, then manipulating it is really simple. OK, then uh, I did the same thing with the head banner image. I was looking for the head banner image. Cause I knew exactly what this image was called. So then I found the, the, um, the ID of it. And then I changed that and, uh, made it look kind of like this right here, which is just a square image. And I just changed the border image, the border radius. And then I, uh, basically went through each part of my, uh, HTML nav bar here and I, you know, formatted it. Okay. And again, go to my uh, original uh, video to show you how to actually um, make this disappear, make this other button disappear. So basically, here's the menu button. I made it display none. And then here's the menu button again, how to, you know, if I actually say display block, it comes right up right here. There it is. So we're going to go back to display none. And then... Um, that way I can manipulate it and then go to display none. Okay. And then here, uh, the shrink nav is the actual navigation that comes up when you have the, uh, the div open and here's the div right here. So if I open it up to 350 pixels, there it is, you can see it and then I can manipulate it. So we're going to go back down to zero and it's gone. Okay. So then um, here's your at media query. So when it goes below 699 pixels, this is what's going to happen. The original navigation is going to uh, be displayed none. It's going to disappear. And then the menu button is going to appear. And then when the menu button appear, 
that's when the Java code, the JavaScript will uh, effect. So basically you get all the same effect as, um, as you do when you have your regular page. And I found that much better than, uh, than actually, um, you know, putting an iframe in and things like that, because then everything works perfectly. You're knowing that, that everything is going to work no matter what device you're on. The other thing is that once you have this set up, you want your mobile to be set up exactly the same. So one thing that people uh, tend to forget in their tutorials is that you have to go here and click on, it's going to be on default. So if you click on default, for example, it, it removes your, your, um, your HTML gadgets and all that. So you have to make sure that you click on custom so that it, it uses your custom CSS and JavaScript. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a wonderful day.